High pan antennas are quick and easy to make, but are limited in the reception range. Can I make an antenna that uses a pie pan and gets even better performance? Let's hop to it! Up until now, I've been experimenting with pie pans as a receiving element for TV antennas, and I'm impressed with how well they work. The other day I was experimenting with loop antennas using different configurations and element sizes. I had a pie pan sitting by and I grabbed it and held it behind the loop element just to see if it made a difference. Well it did, so I decided to design an antenna that incorporates the pie pan as a reflector. This design receives signals in a more narrow beam angle than previous pie pan designs, so it allows me to focus in on more distant and lower power transmitter towers. This could be very useful for those locations that are struggling to get a clear signal. As usual, this antenna is fairly easy to make, so put one together and see how well it works for you. Well, like I always say, that's enough talking, let's get to building. You will need a pie pan for the reflector. I found this three pack at Walmart and they work nicely. They are nine and a half inches in diameter and are made of a pretty decent gauge aluminum. This will be perfect to make this antenna for indoor or attic mounting. If you are making this antenna for mounting outside, try to find an even heavier metal one that will stand up to the weather. You will also need an element wire. It needs to be fairly stiff as it has to hold its shape, so use at least 12 gauge Romex house wire. The wire has to have the insulation still on it. For my antenna, I'm going to use this piece of 10 gauge wire. Cut a piece that is 32 inches long. Get the following 1 half inch PVC fittings. One elbow one T-fitting, and two end caps. Also, at least 20 inches of half-inch PVC pipe will be needed. For the terminals, you will need two small machine screws plus washers and nuts like these. Get yourself one self-tapping screw. I use these number eight lath screws. Grab some heavy wire ties and some electrical tape too. Finally, get a matching transformer to attach your finished antenna to your coax. If you want to skip the transformer, that's up to you, but first watch my video on why you should use one. I'll put a link in the description. Start by forming the element wire into a loop. Mark the wire in the middle at 16 inches. From this mark, you will measure 10 inches in both directions. So you'll mark it 6 inches and 26 inches. At these two marks, bend the wire into L's. Get them as flat to each other as you can. Now using a paint can, bend the middle 20 inches of wire into a rough loop as shown. When held together you should have a loop that measures about 6.5 inches in diameter. Strip off 3 quarters of an inch of insulation from each end. Cut a piece of PVC to 4.5 inches in length. Take an end cap and drill two holes in it like this, about 1 eighth of an inch from the edges. They should be just large enough for your wires to fit in. Slip the cap over the piece of PVC, insert the wires, and bend the loop over to make it perpendicular. Remove the cap again. Take this piece of PVC and mark it 3 quarters of an inch from one end. Using a drill bit that is just slightly larger than your element wire's diameter, drill through the pipe. Clamp it in a vise and cut two slots to match up the holes. A rotary tool with a cutoff wheel works great, but you can also do this with a hacksaw or coping saw. Insert the cap with the loop on the other end of the PVC piece. Don't cement these as you will later need it to rotate to align the antenna. The wires will eventually come through the slots like this, but for now don't bend them out. Now take the pie pan and using a small piece of half inch PVC pipe, trace the circle onto the bottom like this. Using small scissors, cut the circle just enough to let the pipe pass through. You may have to cut small relief cuts like I'm doing here. Slide the pan onto the pipe and now bend out the wire ends. Use caution for the remaining steps as you don't want to tear the pie pan hole any larger. Using your needle nose pliers, bend the wire ends into terminal loops. Make sure the machine screws will fit through them. Apply PVC cement to the side port of the T and push it onto the PVC piece. Align the side seams with the wires. Cut a 5 inch piece of PVC. Also cut a 3 quarters inch piece and install it in the other end cap and elbow. 
Push this onto the five inch piece and install the assembly onto the top of the T. This will be your support mount. Carefully mark where the cap lines up with the pan and drill a pilot hole through both. Use a lath screw to secure the pan. Snug a wire tine behind the pie pan. Adjust the pan until it's the same distance as the top mount. Take a length of electrical tape and wrap the tie in place so it won't move. If you're making this for outdoor use, run a bead of RTV silicone around it instead. Repeat this on the front of the pan. Screw the machine screws onto the terminal ends. Use them to attach the matching transformer. Adjust the front cap to make sure the loop is level and parallel. You may need to do some final wire bending to make sure the loop is on a flat plane and is parallel to the pie pan. If you are installing your antenna outdoors, make sure to paint all the exposed PVC to protect it from UV. Your antenna is complete. Keep in mind that since this has a narrow reception beam angle, setting it up and pointing it is important. I recommend going to the website rabbitears.info and printing out your local map of where your transmitter towers are. I'll put a link in the description. Besides aiming the antenna, don't forget to try adjusting the height. Sometimes only a few inches up or down can make a big difference. Have fun using this antenna. Don't forget to hit the like icon, jingle the bell, and subscribe to my channel. Who knows what I'll be doing next, but until then, keep watching TV.